Evander Kane has just stepped away from the Hockey Diversity Alliance. For those who don't know Kane, an Edmund Oilers winger had been a part of the Hockey Diversity Alliance uh, since its formation in 2020. The primary purpose of the HDA was, and still is, to eradicate racism within hockey and inspire a new generation of diverse players and fans. Kane had been a proponent of diversity within the sport since his entry into the NHL in 2009, making his departure somewhat surprising. Kane made a statement on Twitter announcing his departure, expressing concern that the HDA is being led by members with individual agendas, and he voiced his disappointment over the combative approach with other organizations aiming for similar goals. He asserted that these methods were something he did not support. Despite his departure, he pledged to continue to work towards making hockey a more inclusive sport. But here's where things get intriguing. Uh, the HDA quickly refuted Kane's claim, stating that he hadn't been involved with the organization for over two years. They pointed out that when he declared bankruptcy in January 2021, he was automatically disqualified from serving as a director of the HDA, according to the provisions of the Canadian Not-for-Profit Corporations Act. They stated he hadn't attended meetings or contributed to the strategic vision of the organization since. They also shared that Kane had expressed an interest in rejoining on numerous occasions, but insisted he needed to do more work before rejoining. In their words, they left the door open for him to re-engage when he was ready to be a role model for young athletes. They expressed surprise at his departure announcement and the reference to personal agendas. This all occurs amidst the formation of the Player Inclusion Coalition, also known as PIC, just a couple of weeks prior. The NHL and NHL Players Association announced this 20-player committee, chaired by former NHL players Anson Carter and P.K. Subin, with million-dollar funding to support grassroots organizations and player perspective storytelling. The HDA, however, was openly critical of this new initiative, calling it laudable on its face, but laughable in the context of the work they've been doing for three years without league support. Well, that So this begs several questions. What's the future of the HDA without Kame? How will the newly formed PIC impact the diversity landscape in hockey? Is there a growing divide within the NHL over diversity issues, or is this just a bump in the road toward a more inclusive future? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. As always, I appreciate your support, so don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for tuning in today, and remember, keep the passion for the game alive. Until next time.